In this video, we will demonstrate the periodic system using a first-in, first-out cost flow assumption. On January 1st, we'll purchase 100,000 bricks at $1 per unit. And on the 15th of January, 150,000 bricks at $1.75 per unit. The accounting entry will always be to debit purchases on the income statement and credit accounts payable or bank on our balance sheet. Let's demonstrate this using the accounting software. We go to purchases, pay later. It's probably going to ask us for an invoice number, so let's see if I can put in an invoice number. Montreal Brick and Manufacturing. We're going to purchase the red bricks, 100,000 units, in this case at a dollar each, the first purchase. Purchase price, purchase was done on the 1st of January, so make sure that is correct. What is the accounting entry the moment we process this invoice? Debit purchases of 100,000, which will affect our income statement, and credit accounts payable of 100,000, which will affect our balance sheet. Process this transaction, say okay. I'd just like to demonstrate the effect on the income statement from 1st of January to the 31st, that's okay. There were no other transactions. If you notice, I have not made a sale zero revenues, but I do have purchases of building bricks of 100000 on the income statement, which has the effect of demonstrating that we have a loss of $100,000. We don't have a net income, we have a loss of 100000 In order to calculate our gross profit using the first in, first out, and using the periodic, we need to take a physical inventory count. And this will be demonstrated in this video. So let us continue with our second purchase. Our second purchase, this will take effect on the 15th of January. The same manufacturer, Montreal Brick manufacturer, same inventory, and this time buying 150,000 units at a cost of $1.75. Total purchase price 262,500. That's the, the July entry will always be the same. Debit purchases, credit accounts payable because I'm paying later. I will process this transaction. Let me give it an invoice number. I will process this transaction. The moment we do this, let us demonstrate what is the effect on my financials, on my income statement. Remember, we have not made a sale yet. Therefore, no sales. And I've accumulated now total purchases of 362,500. 362, if I go to the general ledger, you see a debit balance of 362,500. This is basically an expense, but in order to calculate our gross profit, we must take a physical inventory count, and this is what the periodic system is all about, and we'll demonstrate this going forward. Now, we will make a sale. That is the ob obvious purchase of being in business, obvious reason for being in business. And I'm going to make a sale to a, a home in Westmount. They will be buying the, the bricks, they were purchasing supposedly 80,000 bricks. I need to sell them at a price of, let's see if I have, at a base price of $3 per brick. Total sale price 240,000. What is the July entry? Since they're paying later, it will be debit accounts receivable 240,000 and credit sales of brick for 240,000. If I process this transaction and say process, Let's go to our income statement. From the 1st of January to the 31st, you'll notice that we have $240,000 as a sale, but our cost is $362,500. This is, the, is not true. We have not sold $362,500. We need to take a physical inventory count, and this is what we're going to do in the next video. Thank you.